welcome welcome my dear students and friends i welcome you all in my ayurveda academy youtube channel this is the name of the youtube channel ayurveda academy by professor dr r r desh pandey so today's topic is very interesting because each medical student each medical doctor should be aware of this very very commonly occurring the disease of brain that is called as a meningitis as you know dura mater pia mater so these meninges when they get inflamed i t r s can you see this my cursor i t r s this indicates inflammation meningitis appendicitis tonsillitis pharyngitis everywhere there will be i t r s this is suffix so i t i s suffix indicates inflammatory process so this is the inflammation of meninges this is very common disease and each medical student or each medical doctor although he may not be treating this particular acute condition this is very serious disease the patient can die if it is not treated very acutely and very enthusiastically these patients must be referred to the good hospitals so because many times this disease can occur in the children so proper diagnosis at proper time and referring is very important for general medical practitioner so my dear friends everybody should be aware of this commonly occurring disease of the brain that is meningitis presented in ayurveda academy youtube channel presented by myself professor dr rajendra raghuveer deshpande i am md in ayurvedic medicine yes kai chikitsa and md in ayurvedic sharira kriya that is ayurvedic physiology for paid online consultation and paid online classes you can definitely whatsapp me my dear friend because of the time restraint please no phone calls you only whatsapp i will respond to the whatsapp 9226810630 this video is included in the playlist of my youtube channel which is having 800 plus videos on the different topics from first year bms second third fourth year bms okay kai chikitsa and internal medicine so we will start with this kai chikitsa lecture kai chikitsa is very important subject for the fourth year bms students b a m s student ccim syllabus center council of indian medicine paper 1 part b point number 1 the topic is very big fever in ayurveda fever is called as jwar this topic is very important for the bms students and one of the sub topic is one of the type of fever one of the cause of the fever one of the important cause of the fever meningitis which is acute and serious cardinal features how you can diagnose the patient will suffer from severe headache severe this word is very important normal meaning uh, what you can say the migraine then stress headache eye headache no not serious but this headache is very very severe patient is restless looking very uh, toxic okay high fever oh my god 102 degrees fahrenheit 103 degrees fahrenheit very hot for the touch and the third important symptom is projectile vomiting the vomiting goes at a long distance vomitus long distance projectile vomiting action professor despond action projectile vomiting projectile you can show this action to your examination when why why is going on three cardinal features by which ayurveda cardinal features are called as pratyatma write down pratyatma lakshana huh? severe headache high fever and projectile vomiting these are the symptoms you can say but these are the signs neck rigidity very important the patient you cannot flex the neck the neck becomes very very stiff rigidity and positive babin skin sign positive babin skin sign don't forget this meningitis disease okay what is positive babin we will see afterwards so this is caused by meningococcal meningitis it is also called as cerebrospinal fever csf 
sería septo. ¿Ah? Cerebrospinal fluid, cerebrospinal fever. Causes disease is spread by droplet infection enters into the body through the nasopharynx and carried upward, carried upward to the choroid plexus in the brain through the bloodstream. Onset, very sudden, very acute. Clinical features, step by step. First, I had mentioned very shortly, but now details. First stage is of meningeal irritation, three stages. First is meningeal irritation, irritation. High temperature, 102 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Severe bursting headache, restlessness and irritability. Photophobia, the patient cannot accept the light. He is afraid, close his eyes. Uh, photophobia, phobia is a fear. Fear of light, looking towards the light. He cannot tolerate the light. Generalized, flexed attitude. That is called as huddled up position. Huddled up position. Neck rigidity. Chin, this is chin, will not touch to the ear sternum. Cannot, we cannot flex. That is called as a neck rigidity. Okay. Very important symptom for meningitis. Kernick's sign. Brood. Brudzinski's sign, neck sign, Brudzinski's leg sign. Three signs are very, very, very important for meningitis. Also, Babinskin's sign. Kernick's sign is positive. What is after flexing the thigh? If leg is tried to be extended at knee, spasm of hamstring muscle will not allow to extend the leg. I will show you the picture so you will understand. Okay, But this is very important. Kernick sign, you must learn in your clinics, in your hospitals, because this is asked in the viva or the oral. The, the, the examiner will say, show me the Kernick sign. Show, do the Brudzinski's neck sign. Do the Brudzinski's leg sign. Okay, Brudzinski's neck sign. During flexing the neck, if you like this, both lower limbs are also flexed, legs, they are also flexed. If you flex the neck, legs will be flexed. That is Brudzinski's neck sign. Brudzinski's leg sign, during the testing of this first sign, Kernick sign, opposite leg will be flexed. I will show you the pictures. Can you see? Meningitis signs. Very important. Huh? Kernick, K-E-R-N-I-G, remember the spelling, sign. When the hips are flexed at 90 degrees here, attempting to extend the leg, we want to extend the leg at the knee past 135 degrees causes pain or extensor spasm. Here the spasm will be the hamstring muscle here. Here will be the spasm. Okay. And this is Brudzinski's leg sign. When you do this, this is also get flexed. Okay. Then this is Brudzinski's, Brudzinski's sign. Brudzinski's sign. Pronunciation, brood, Z-I-N, then skit sign. Flexion of the neck. Can you see here? Flexion of the neck. While lying, supine causes involuntary hip and hip this is flexed. And also knee is getting flexed. When you do the neck flexion. Very interesting. Huh? Meningitis signs are very important for the students. It is always asked in the SAQ, short answer question. Okay, next. Second stage of meningeal compression. First was only irritation, inflammation, then compression. Headache is more severe. Vomiting starts, projectile vomiting. Patient gradually drowsy and comatose, unconscious. Huh? Chinese stroke respiration. Chinese stroke respiration. Plantar reflex extensor. That is positive Babinski's sign. I will show you on my hand. Suppose, suppose uh, this is my planter at the leg, leg bottom. This is planter part. Uh, okay. And if I press this particular my hammer pointer, usually the finger should be like this hmm? flexion. But if it is positive, when I roll this my pointer, this will be like fan shaped extensor. Okay. So this is in spite of this, this occurs. This is called as a Planter Babinski's reflex is positive, which indicates problem with the meninges, meningeal irritation, meningitis. So four signs are important: Kernick, Brudzinski's neck, Brudzinski's leg, and Babinski's sign. 
you must not forget these four signs of meningitis okay next is bilateral both sides sixth nerve palsy that is oculomotor problem third stage stage of coma deep unconsciousness patient cannot be aroused this is serious and paralysis pupils are widely dilated and do not react when you focus on the torch do not react constriction will not occur of the pupil papillo edema doctor ophthalmoscope doctor will come and see there will be papillo edema involuntary evacuation of urine and fecal matter investigations meningitis polymorphonuclear leukocytosis bacterial infection neutrophil count will be high normal examination examiner normal white blood cell how much in the body 6 or 4 to 11000 per cubic mm write down 4 to 11000 per cubic mm normal white blood cell count total leukocyte count white cells are called as leukocytes correct okay so if that 11000 in spite of 11000 this can go up to 20000 per cubic mm 25000 per cubic mm 35000 per cubic mm yes this is their meningitis polymorph means neutrophil high count in spite of 75 it can be 90 it can be 85 hmm? okay csf cerebrospinal fluid examination in the laboratory it is turbid first cells are 3 plus proteins are increased but in csf cerebrospinal fluid sugar is diminished not blood sugar not blood sugar don't get confused csf sugar is lower down proteins are high complications of meningitis hemiplegia very bad or paraplegia septicemia patient can die management first refer the patient to the hospital immediately 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 urgent huh? then in the hospital drug of choice is benzyl penicillin alternate choice is cefotaxim latest antibiotics cefotaxim so this is all about very short and sweet lecture of meningitis fourth year bms students attention please kai chikitsa lecture by professor dr r r desh pande very easy eh? paper 1 part b point number 1 about fever jwar chikitsa and this is one of the small topic meningitis but very important topic because this is is very serious you must diagnose it properly all these videos are yes educational videos vaidhani ki shala disclaimer kaun si bhi bimari mein yatha avashyak yatha kal vaidhi ke sala lena bahut hi zarurat hai so if anybody is suffering from cerebral palsy arthritis motor neuron disease cancer attention deficit hyperactive disorder in the children itp idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura or any such type of chronic diseases or autoimmune diseases don't get hesitate to contact professor dr r rishpand and his teams on whatsapp only 9226810630 for paid online consultation and paid online bms classes okay so my dear friends i request all of you to like this video share this video and by folding my hands i request don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe icon for getting such type of the very interesting videos from professor dr arar deshpande i wish all the best and take care sarve pishkina santu sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashchit dukham apnaya all the best and take